Hi, hello, this is your Lakshma Reddy sir. Okay, hydrogen topic, class 11, NCRT, hydrogen peroxide questions we are discussing. Shallow. 47, oxygenated water is, so water is H2O, extra oxygen, that means H2O2. Okay, now. 47, option 2. The following reacts with water to give H2O2. Okay, that is H2H2O8, which we call Marshall's acid. Peroxodisulfuric acid H2S2O8 with water H2O2. Option 2. Electrolysis of 50% sulfuric acid produces using platinum electrodes H2S2O8 at anode hydrogenate cathode. So, option first H2S2O8 at anode. Okay, and hydrogen will be at cathode. Don't confuse. 49th option 1. An aqueous solution of H2O2 is purified by. Okay, now this is one interesting one. Aqua solution of H2O is purified by distillation under reduced pressure, otherwise, it will go for decomposition type. Memory based. Negative catalyst for the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide is that means it is going to stabilize that one. Okay, now that is acetanilide or phosphoric acid H3PO4 or glycerol we can use. Okay. MnO2 is catalyst. Negative catalyst means which makes hydrogen peroxide stable. Acetonilate, glycerol, phosphoric acid. Remember, here option 4. 52 positive catalyst for the decomposition of H2O2 among the following is. Okay, now that is which is going to break it. And that is iron. Iron is the best catalyst to break it. Hydrogen peroxide is. Hydrogen peroxide is actually having two protons. Two protons it can release. So, you can consider this as a dibasic acid. H2O2 can give one proton. HO2 minus can give another proton. O2 minus 2. H2O2 is a dibasic acid. Next question. Okay. The same statement is mentioned here. H2O2 is a dibasic acid. Similar things happens in exams also. You know, if you see very carefully, at least for one question, you will get somewhere some idea in the exam, same paper. Okay. Believe me. When you are writing your at least your weekend examinations, your college examinations, definitely somewhere you will get some clue for one question in the same question paper, right? I think you experience most of the times now. Correct. H2O2 is a dibasic acid, right? Correct, come on. H2O2 is a dibasic acid. The salts found by is R. So first when you remove one, that will become HO2 minus. Second is O2 minus two. Okay, these are called as peroxides and hydroperoxides. So, coming to 55th question, the specific test for hydrogen peroxide is, okay, now what is the test for hydrogen peroxide? Hydrogen peroxide test is um, titanium sulphate, okay, now titanium sulphate or titanium dioxide you can take and it turns into paratitanic acid, H4TiO4, H4TiO4 is of orange color. So, option 3, H2O2 can be estimated by H2O2 can be estimated by titration with acidified KMnO4 solution. KMnO4 is oxidizing agent, H2O2 is reducing agent. H2O2 reduces KMnO4 in acidic medium to Mn plus 2. By using this, M1, V1 by N1 is equal to M2, V2 by N2. We can calculate the concentration of hydrogen peroxide. Remember, oxidation state of oxygen in hydrogen peroxide is minus 1. Blind question. Delicate materials like silk, wool and ivory are bleached by when you are discussing about hydrogen peroxide. Obviously, the credit goes to hydrogen peroxide only. So, 58th question, hydrogen peroxide. In H2O2 molecule, the HOO angle is, actually this angle is not fixed. It changes in solid liquid gas states. But here, only one option suits here that is 94 degrees 48 minutes. Remaining are not correct. In H2O2 molecule, the OO bond length is, this is again memory based type, you can, you have to remember better 1.48 angstroms, no other option because sometimes this is, this type of questions are coming in exam. In H2O2 molecule, the dihedral angle in gas phase is, yes, gas phase, solid phase, both values are mentioned in NCRT also, you need to remember, 61st question, option 3, 111.3, remember, 